hairdressing on the high street? Yes, I'll be brief. In fact, I'll be quite snippy. Uh -huh. hey. um, no, look, I think this is really important because we talk about our high street. Our high streets in the future need to be human and not just based on retail. And it's going to be about experience. People talk about experience economy, but hairdressers have been a huge part of that. You have to go and have your hair cut. You're not going to be able to have an AI haircut. So we have 17,500-ish salons at the moment, but we are we've, we've, we've fewer, basically. And that's this story talks about the entrepreneurs that have gone out and be it an airstream, a shed in their garden, or they come to you, that professional hairdressing can be done in the comfort of your own home or indeed in their smaller salons. Many of them have that registered, so this is very much a viable business, but it's taken out the rents and rates, which are incredibly painful. I love entrepreneurial stories. I love the consumer getting what they want. Technology will be helping with this. I'm sure as well as all of our working hours have changed, helping people have appointments in evenings and weekends is really going to be a difference. What I would just say as well, though, is I think those hair salons make a massive impact to those high streets. I think they're really important to be looked after. And also what they do is they help a lot of young people train into a career that lasts them a lifetime. And I think that probably wouldn't be done as much with an entrepreneurial business. So you kind of hope that there's a watchword and looking on how we still make that impact on the high street really happen. Yeah, that's